Hey everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to a mobile live streaming app that I use on a frequent basis. It's called Prism Live Studio and I've been using it for the past three years. I think it's the best way to live stream from a mobile device and especially for YouTube. You can use it even if you have less than a thousand subscribers because for some reason YouTube has this minimum requirement of a thousand subscribers in order to start a mobile live stream but with the prism live studio you can get around that and today i'm going to show you some of the features that this amazing live stream software has so let me show you i want to thank prism live studio for sponsoring this video so this is how i normally do my walks with the prism software it's not live right now, but you can do stuff like change the effects, color, and make it a film. Now it got a little bit more gray or black and white. I rarely use these features, but at least it's there if you ever do need to use it. One of my favorite parts about Prism Live Studio is how easy it is to use. Here I'm setting up for a test live stream on YouTube. And I know I mentioned YouTube, but you can stream to different video sources other than YouTube. There's Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, among many others. And there's also multi-streaming capabilities. So as you see here, it's really easy to start up. You just hit that yellow button and three, two, one, you're live. You can change the settings, the different video quality. And over here, I'm going to open up the menus and show you a little bit of the features. That you could hide the chat view. You could change the video description and title on the fly as well as the thumbnail. Or you can set up the thumbnail before and apply different effects to this video as well. Here I'm selecting a vivid filter to give the image a little bit of a different look. You don't have to do this, but it just offers a different level of engagement for your audience. Now there's a cool filter on here. And not only can you play around with the filters too, but there's different options. You could add media, screensavers, titles. There's tons of things you can do with this software and that's what makes it great because it's just so powerful and I can't believe this software is free. Here I'm adding a screensaver that was included with the Prism Live app. This just adds a whole different level of engagement to the live streaming experience. As you can see here, I'm going to press done and a new source has been created. Now anytime I want to access this easily, you just select it as a source and you play it. Prism also allows you to add text to it as well, including animated text. Here I'm going to create a title that says Happy Friday that will scroll across the screen. This app also allows you to load music and video to your live streaming experience. Here I'm putting on my Be Right Back screen and you're even able to move this video around or pictures, whatever you want to do. This is a new feature that's recently been added to Prism, but when you end a live stream and ask you if you want to maintain the status of the live stream, that way you can resume it at a later point with a different device, perhaps the same device, and this is very useful. Not only is Prism Live Studio a live streaming app, but it can also record video as well. Here I'm making a video and you can apply the same effects and filters as I showed you during that test live stream. Not even the default iPhone camera app can do that. Here I'm going to open up that video and you can apply all these effects, even do video editing within the software. How many apps do you know can do that? Not only can you live stream and take videos with the Prism app, but take photos with it as well. Here I'm walking up to some flowers and you can apply some effects and stickers to the photo before you snap it as well. But 
it's so useful to have everything in one complete package like this. When setting up your live stream, you can even use the Prism app to take a thumbnail or set up a intro video if you have one. So it gives people a little bit of time to discover your live stream and be actively engaged before it even starts. Here I'm selecting one that I have and before it starts it'll play this live stream intro. What's pretty cool about Prism is that you can apply these animated stickers and emojis. I'm selecting one now which requires someone to open their mouth to put on a funny mask and uh, you can see it here applied to several strangers that had their mouth open as they passed by me but there's other ones too you can select like hats or glasses as you can see here it's not working too well because there's no face to detect but it just adds that extra level of engagement that you need sometimes in a live stream if you're uh, making content like this that requires it The app also has beauty filters as well, so you can make yourself look prettier or uglier depending on what you want. Here I'm going to select the cute beauty filter and change the way I look. There's also several options with sliders to adjust the level to which the filter applies. Once again, I think this is a powerful software and it just makes it so easy for people to live stream. It even has the ability to stream up to 1080p. Not even the native YouTube app can do that. And like I said, enables people with less than a thousand subscribers to easily access the abilities of live streaming. I want to thank all of you for watching this overview of the Prism Live Studio app. And once again, thanks to Prism Live Studio for sponsoring this video. As you just saw, not only is it a live streaming platform, but you can also do videos, photos with it, add special effects, filters, uh, stream the two different sources at once if you want to, and a lot, lot more. But thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.